I'm Grace Neutral, a tattoo artist from London. I just tattooed by hand, so I just have a tattoo needle attached to a stick. When I was young, tattooing felt like a small world. It was like a radical act of self-expression that could scandalise your parents. Oh, I'm on a little tattoo high right now. Feels so good. Today, though, it's everywhere, from the mainstream to the underground. What Gracie could have looked like if she didn't f her face off. I'm travelling the globe to meet the artists, the rebels and the weirdos who made this niche hobby into a global industry. But first, I'm going somewhere where tattooing isn't just rebellious, it's illegal. My friend Apro Lee is also a tattoo artist, but the difference is that in South Korea, what he does for a living could land him in trouble with the law. I want to see how people are fighting back against this. Our first stop is a nightclub run by some of Apro's mates, which has become a refuge for the underground tattoo scene. Mystic felt like any great club in London or Brooklyn. But once I started talking to people about their tattoos, the differences were huge. You're covered in tattoos, right? Uh-huh. Yeah? What did your parents think when you got tattooed? They hate me. They oh, hate you. You're my son, you're not my son, you're not my son. Why you do that? Why you do that? Like that, yeah. That's why I'm so sad. They said too. Dad, he never spoke to me five years. Yeah. Your dad hasn't spoken to you yeah, in five yeah, yeah, years yeah, yeah. just if because they... of tattoos. What is their problem with tattoos? Korean old guys talk about that. Oh, it looks like he's gangster. This is Soji, and I just met her downstairs in the club. And she has the most incredible collection of tattoos I've seen. They are beautiful. What do your parents think? They don't know about my tattoos. I always like trying to cover them and always wearing my long sleeves and pants. Are they scared that you might not be able to get a job or something like that? Because that was my mum's fear when I was young. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Jobs and friends and, you know, like everything. I have my plans to tell them, but I, I'm not sure like when it's gonna be. It's pretty crazy that Solji has had to live so much of her life covering up her body. But I wasn't surprised given the attitude towards body art in South Korea. For these young people, experimenting with tattoos was genuinely taboo and rebellious. Once the club closed, Apro invited me over to his studio to see his work. I know we talked a little bit about maybe you could tattoo me. Okay, this is the tigers and uh, maybe maybe some magpie. I love the idea of a magpie. I have some space on my arms, maybe in here, or maybe I have some just little gaps like dotted around. Tell me about your studio, because I've never been here before. Like, how long have you had this place? Uh, just about two years now. And as you know, uh, we don't really have tattoo culture or tattoo history. Ten years ago, I couldn't buy any tattoo stuff. I didn't know how to buy, where to buy. Of course, because yeah. there would be no, like, South Korean tattoo distributors, so you'd have to get it all from foreign places. In Korea? It's illegal to tattoo without doctor license. But who's going to be a tattooer when they have a doctor license? Yeah, I totally agree. That's ridiculous, right? Body. Why are they still f***ing our job? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know no. what I mean? Yeah. 
What generally is the attitude towards you from the public? 또 어른들이나 나이 뭐그 나이 드신 분들은 타투를 한 사람을 보면 뭐나 같은 사람이나 아니면 내 주위에 아니면 뭐 다른 사람들을 보면 굉장히 안 좋은 시선으로 아직도 보고 있고 이 사람들이 나쁜 짓이나 하지 않을까 하는 그런. You have a really beautiful collection of tattoos on your body, but one of my favorites is the noose, noose yeah. around your neck. Tattooist is not a job in South Korea, and I'm doing illegal, so I'm a criminal here, right? So this is the meaning. I love it so much, Apro. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Got my little magpie. Oh, I'm on a little tattoo high right now. Feels so good. Seeing as it's chucking it down right now, we're going to dip into one of these photo shops Apro's been telling me about. People get their photos taken for passports, job applications. But the one thing that they do here is they actually edit your face. So we're going to go into one now and see if they can make the both of us look like normal, upstanding citizens. I've just had my photo taken, just like you would when you're at school, you know, for the yearbook picture. And he's photoshopping it and making me look normal, taking away all my tattoos, all my scars, uh, going to change my eyes back to normal. Yeah, I love it. It's so weird. It's really hard for me to look at my face. Yeah, it's... I, it's so bizarre what Gracie could have looked like if she didn't f*** her face off. It was great to talk to Apro and see his shop and see him and how he kind of fights for this lifestyle that he lives because he lives and breathes tattooing just like I do and he lives for his art and he's prepared to do anything, even work underground illegally to do it. of the tattooing taboo in South Korea is the belief that they are linked to crime, and having one basically makes you a gangster. One of the pioneers of Korean body art is Hernan Chang. Working as an artist for over 15 years, he knows many of the people who can explain the relationship between tattoos and gang culture. So this is your friend, Mr. Kim. Yes. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. So there seems to be this stigma around tattooing and having tattoos in South Korea, uh, being attached to gang members and criminals. Can you explain that to me? Is that true? So, 왜냐하면 우리나라 컬처에서는 그 옛날에 삼천 교육 때라고 그래서 문신이 있는 사람을 조직 폭력배로 인정해서 다 잡아간 케이스가 있었어요. 그러니까 그런 것들을 우리가 알고 있었기 때문에 대부분 일반 시민들이 문신이 있으면 그냥 갱 멤버라고 생각을 했죠. 나, 내가 15년 전만 해도 어, 타투가 있으면 아무도 날 목욕탕에서 쳐, 쳐다보지 않았고 그 정말 아주머니들이 나, 나, 우리를 쫓아다니면서 손가락질하면서 마귀 새끼라고 그랬어요. What do you do that is that makes you a gangster? 일적인 거라 그 일적인 거는 합법적인 걸 하죠. 그 상대편에서 반칙을 하지 않는 이상은 합법적으로 다 좋게 끝납니다. 그건 정당성이 있어야 돼요. 그러니까 남다 대기에도 왜 내가 이 사람을 때렸는지 왜이 사람을 죽였는지 그거를 남다 대도 얘기할 수 있는 명분이 있어야 돼요. 그냥 아무 이유 없이 그 사람을 폭행을 한다든가 살인을 저지르니까 이거는 이론할 수 없어요. 그거는 그냥 강도, 그냥 살인자, 또라이, 사기꾼 이거밖에 안 되죠.
So, does everyone in your gang have a tattoo? 백 명이 있다 그러면은 백명 중에 한명 정도는 문신이 안 한, 문신을 안한 친구들이 있어요. The rest of South Korea might think tattoos and gangs are related. Is true. 관계 있는 거죠. 있는 거 아니야. 네. Frankly, the connection between gangs and tattoos does seem to make sense historically. But now a new generation of people are trying to change all that. Even inside the mainstream world of K-pop. K-pop is the biggest youth movement in Korea, but most acts have traditionally had a very safe image. In recent years, Jay Park's legions of fans have seen him undergo a transformation which has pushed the boundaries of K-pop's prescriptive style. Jay Park is one of K-pop's biggest stars, with over 1.2 million followers on Twitter and Instagram. He's a massive pop sensation in South Korea and well known for having extensive tattoos. I'm on my way to meet him near his studio in Gangnam, Seoul. From what I hear, you're like the Justin Bieber of South Korea. <laughs> Did you find that getting tattoos and being in the public eye in South Korea, did that have an impact on your fan base at all? Or First off, my, my family really dislikes it. Uh, my, my, my parents really dislike it. And also, my own fans would bash me because, you know, way before, tattoos were always associated with the mafia or whatever. I mean, you can't see it on TV yet because they blurred out. Uh, oh really? Yeah. So if you if they did a performance of you on the TV yeah. and you were wearing like a vest, yeah. they'd blur out yeah. your arms. But they wouldn't even let me, you know, I'd have to wear like gloves and like a long sleeve. Seeing as you are such a big star in South Korea, how do you feel knowing that you are part of the young revolution that is breaking down all these like barriers? I feel like a lot of people in, in especially celebrities, they're 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 kind of like afraid of being scrutinized and afraid of being like um, kind of bashed or whatever. So they're, they're, every move they make, they're very, very careful, you know? And I feel like for me, like, if, if, it's, if it's right in my heart, I don't really care what every, anyone else thinks. I think it's amazing that you're kind of pioneering a movement that's breaking down old taboos and you're showing people, you know, I am a nice guy, I'm talented, I can provide myself with a comfortable life and I can do what I want regardless of maybe what the older generation think. Yeah. Like, I think that's beautiful, so I, I really commend you for Thank that. K-pop is going through its first big rebellion and part of this rebellion is being marked by tattoos. J-Park is successful enough that he can do whatever he wants and it turns out a bit of controversy has only broadened his appeal. A few days into my trip, Sulji, the girl I had met at the club, texted me. She said she was going to tell her parents about her tattoos and wanted me to go with her. Okay, we're heading to Chongju and uh, yeah, I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I, think, I feel like I'm 14 again and I'm revealing my first tattoo to my mum. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, I'm excited. Well, you know. <laughs> I feel, I feel sick. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I'm really, really nervous. Sulji wants to pursue a career in tattooing, you know, and she wants to obtain a, a good relationship with her family. So. If we can kind of break down this stigma around tattooing by starting here today, I think that's great. Nice to meet you. 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 이야기를 언젠가 좀 해야 되지 않을까 싶어서 그냥 뭐 어떻게 보면 좋은 기회가 될수 있어서 그냥 이렇게 말씀드리려고 그리고 사진을 
찍은 게 있는데 사진을 먼저 보여드릴까요? 그래. 이게 등이 있다고? 응. <웃음> 본인이 좋아하고 앞으로 이런 쪽으로 어떤 관심을 갖고 한다는 데에서 부모 업체에서 반대나 이런 건안 해. 안 했는데 이제 우리 그 사회적인 여건이나 환경이나 아직 분위기가 조성이 안돼 있기 때문에 <웃음> 아빠가 말한 것처럼 그런 좀안 좋은 편견이나 시선들을 마, 만약에 뭔가 더 성공한 위치에 있고 하면은 좀 그래도 편견이 사, 많이 사라질 수가 있잖아 그래서 부모 입장에서 단지 너를 위한 걱정만 했는데도 네가 감정이 그렇게 기억하시는데 부모 말고 제3의 입장에서 본 사람들이 곱지 않은 시선으로 볼 경우가 많다고 그지 좋아하는 거니까 이해하려고 많이 하는데 잠잘 때나 뭐네 생각을 할 때는 가슴이 많이 아파 성공하기를 빌어 그래서 다들 나쁜 시선으로 보지 않게 되기를 바래 고마워 things hit home with experiences that I've been through growing up in in a place where not necessarily everyone accepts you so I think the bit that just got me was after she showed her parents the picture I could just see her mum just all these thoughts running through her head so I was worried that there was going to be this big kind of kick-off moment but the fact that they both just Ask, ask any question what any kind of normal, loving, caring parents would ask. And yeah, they, they really are like pioneers for the older generation in South Korea of being open-minded towards the new generation. And yeah, I'm really proud of Soji as well. It's my final day in Seoul. And I'm going to a small new tattoo studio run by a female artist named Ida. Ida is part of a new wave of young women not just getting tattoos, but opening their own tattoo businesses. Ida had a special customer coming in who she thought we should meet. <laughs> This is really exciting actually. The girl's just come in and she wants to get her first one, so didn't think that would happen. I love being able to be part of someone's first experience with tattooing, so I'm pretty elated right now. Her mum and dad are outside and her sister's here, so it's going to be a nice family day. <laughs> ケイナイテ君ですでなあ、30대쯤에、あ、ハムシパス。ハムシパンで、聞くんで、文春を話す人たちも、もう、俺の世代、みんな、あるの人たちも、文春の人たちも、あるの人たちも、あるの人たちも
fact that he works in quite a corporate job and back in the day you could you could lose your job for having a tattoo, you know? Um, I just really respect him and love the fact that he's still young and a rebel at heart and doesn't really give a shit about what South Korean society would think of him with a tattoo. Starting a tattoo revolution for the older generation. Yes. Yeah. He's brave. <laughs> Very brave. After 30 years of secretly wanting a tattoo, it was very cool to see this guy fulfill that ambition. All it took was being in the right place, at the right time, with the encouragement of his family. There is a growing movement to advocate amendments to South Korean law to allow these artists to practice their craft legally and openly. But whether a law change affects public attitudes remains to be seen. From what I've experienced here, it feels like a change in the law would only be a formality. The real change is already happening. <laughs>